Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are back on the Arctic Thunder project. And today we're gonna to do a monitor upgrade. And no, it's not gonna be a CRT. Unfortunately, the monitor was just, it's too far gone. There's too much burn in and too much hassle, really, when you consider that a new LCD replacement from Unico is just a phone call away, or in my case, a email away. Actually, I use the website, but in any event, you know what I'm saying. It got here in a few days. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And, uh, you know, with Unico monitors, these Phoenix line of monitors, we've had kind of mixed results. So the first 26 inch I did put in the cruising world cabinet. And while the picture looked great, there was a cropping issue. We really, we really kind of lost some of the image on the bottom. and really couldn't alleviate that, really couldn't fix that. On the 19 inch side of the equation, we put that in the SCI uh, cabinet and the monitor, as far as the image, the monitor displayed that image properly, but the brightness was way out of whack. And so we had to put some inline resistors in that and that fixed that problem. Still wasn't the best picture overall. We're going to give this another try. We have a different input. This is a newer cabinet with a VGA input. Is it going to be flawless? Is it going to be perfection? Is it going to be all we hope for? Well, at $300, it sure would be nice to have a true plug and play replacement, at least for this cabinet. Now, we're not going to be able to just throw it in here and bolt it up because it's not gonna fit this opening perfectly. So let me show you what I got going on right over here. All right, so what you're looking at here is um, a filler plate. This really wasn't a bezel. This took up the uh, space between the monitor and the inside dimensions of the cabinet. So this is a perfect uh, template for us to go ahead and mark out and also get the uh, bolt hole locations for the board that we're gonna need to use to make a new mount for our, our uh, LCD replacement. So I put these clamps on here just to make sure that this bezel is laying nice and flat. Get over here out of the way. And boom, we've got our rough cut dimension. my highly advanced mounting system, a single zip tie. Hey, works in a pinch. Like I said, if it's a little tight, that's okay. That's awesome. Fills up the whole void, so that's great. So what we'll do is we'll throw a couple of these nuts on and put the bezel back on and see what our actual viewing area is. Okay. Just double checking the bolt holes, making sure that's all going to line up, which it is. Okay, looking good. Let's go ahead and just trace this out now. Careful, all right? Once again, this is not the cut line. This is just my reference point for my viewing area. Okay, so we know what our rough viewing area is. The dimensions on the monitor are 21 three quarter inches wide. This is the opening. Yeah, 21 and three quarter. That's the width you want to cut. And the viewing area is just, it's 21 and a half. So we need to cheat an eighth inch over and then make our marks off that. All right, nothing to it now. I mean, let's just go ahead and cut. hands. Never have enough hands. Got me in my beauty. Top and bottom looks okay and this side slides in but I got a little bit of clearance right here. That's it. Once again it's you don't have much of a wing here. Absolutely gorgeous. That's see that's snug. That's what you want. That's what you want. I mean, it's... Okay, so put a couple screws in here for good measure. We'll do three on each side. And let's put her in there. Plug it up. PGA input. 
No converter board needed, which is another good thing. And then a little bit of power supply. All right, this is initial power up. Look at that beautiful thing. Auto adjusting. Here we go. Not a bad start. Looks better than the 17 inch. I had in there, that's for damn sure. We'll leave this film on for now. It's got the ink and it's got the sticker on it. Not too shabby. Like I said, it looks like an artifact, but it's not. That's just the plastic screen protector still on. Okay, so let's go. Let's go ahead and take out the start button here. Oh, okay, that looks damn good. Not too shabby, man. <laughs> the rumble seat works, and the blower is blowing, and the bezel is falling over. I've got the marquee light disconnected for now. Oh, yes, yeah, it's good. Okay, so with the function check done, I'm going to go ahead and take the monitor uh, mount out. I'm going to take the monitor out. I want to go ahead and seal that wood, and let's go ahead and paint it, uh, paint it black, at least on this side. That way that'll blend in. Make sure we have some of my thick foam for the outsides, uh, for the outside corners, to kind of take up that gap. Uh, we could maybe take the monitor mount and push it forward a little bit. I've got some room here, but not enough to make a bit of a difference, I don't think. So the most I would do is take, eh, maybe I'll take the nut on the backside, put that on first, then put the monitor mount on, then put the second set of nuts, because we, uh, we have eight nuts total. And then that will at least space it forward another eh, three-eighths of an inch maybe. So that'll take up some of the gap, plus the foam will be fine, good to go. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. The Arctic Thunder cabinet is coming along really well. Just a couple things left to do. I have to get some new switches for the attack and start button. They're just not really engaging like they should. You hear the sound is rocking. The picture looks epic. Even got the tail light working. So uh, beyond that, I also have to get the bracket inside that uh, includes the post that limits the travel of the steering wheel. If you don't do that, it's going to fail its calibration test. So to do that, I had to actually hold my hands uh, and allow the sticks to hit my fists so that it wouldn't over travel so that it could actually pass a calibration test so we're going to get that swapped out ready to go and then beyond that we got to clean it up and then i think i'm going to actually sell this thing because we got the big dog coming what is that arcade well you're gonna to have to wait around and find out anyway thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the channel you have a blessed day and i will see all of you next time this looks great